Hey guys, this is Shorty. Hey, this is Marcus. So our friends over at Polar Pro asked us to shoot some of their new effects filters for their quartz line. We decided to go out to Big Sur for a three-day adventure. All right, we're all packed up. 5.30? Yeah. I'm about to take off to Big Sur. We asked our buddy Logan if he wanted to be in the video, and he was totally down. So we picked him up and hit the road. Along the ride, we ran into Enoch, our photographer, and Amy, who will also be talent. After a six hour drive, we were happy to find out that our campsite was perfect for us. Wow, dude. Hey, dog. <laughs> hey, dog in the woods. Joining us as well is Nate and Matt from Polar Pro. After setting up and pitching our tents, we went ahead and started shooting. The filter we decided to use for this scene is mist. We decided to go with the mist filter because it gave a nice, soft, vintage look. Another benefit of the mist filter is that it helps soften skin, which is great for beauty shots as well. In this scene, we asked Logan to use the fire starter to try and start the fire. I was shooting this on the wave camera in extreme slow-mo to get the sparks. We were shooting at 4K 422 frames per second. We were having a hard time getting the fire started, so we decided to pour a little gas on it and well... <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Hopefully that looked dope. <laughs> I told you! <laughs> In the next scene, we decided to move on with the gold morphic filter. The name of the filter itself is pretty self-explanatory. The filter gives a nice gold anamorphic flare. In this scene, we decided to shoot Nate skating along the coast. We really had to be careful because, as you can see, it's an open road and there's cars driving both ways. So to get these shots, we had a follow vehicle. We had Shorty and Enoch in the back shooting photo and video simultaneously. Perfect. It's gonna really get going once we get to that downhill slope, so. Just be careful, bud. We moved on to the trail by the Bixby Bridge. We decided to shoot with the circular polarizer for this scene. We really didn't know what to expect driving along the trail. Um, it was more like, let's see what's interesting along the way. So throughout the trail, we decided to make a few stops to grab a few shots, just to see how the filter looks in that environment. By the way, I didn't even know they had lens filters for GoPros. to throw on the mist filter. continued along our adventure and ended up driving up a really sketchy and bumpy trail. <laughs> Luckily all the vehicles that we had have four wheel drive so we were good to go. So we were uh, trying to find a way to get up to this ridge up here and beyond and we found this little side road that kind of took us up this really steep dirt hill that was kind of sketchy at times but here we are so we're stoked by the time we got to the top we were literally above the clouds all right looks like we got the top Sick. So Amy, being her adventurous self, decided to stray off from the pack and discovered an amazing looking spot. Literally a tree with a swing overlooking the clouds. Like, freaking epic. So we let the rest of the team know about the spot and decided to shoot with the gold morphic filter in this area.
So as any photographer or film person knows, you're always chasing the light. We rushed up to the top of the hill so that we could shoot Matt on the mountain bike with the gold morphic filter. Since it was getting darker, we decided to move on to shoot scenes that involved more like LED lights, like a headlamp or the, the headlights of a car. So we definitely did some guerrilla filming here. This scene definitely felt like a mission. It was pretty late at night. I mean, luckily there weren't too many people around. We threw a fog machine under the car. Some people pulled over and legit thought the car was broken. So we chose a Mist Plus filter because it's just like the Mist, but even heavier, which for us, we felt was like an ominous, suspenseful look. So we hiked in the forest right outside our campgrounds and it was a bit of a mission to find these trees here, but we had to be quiet because we were right outside the campgrounds in those quiet hours. We had a blast on this shoot, discovering beautiful scenic areas, coming up with different ideas for the scenes in the shoot and overall enjoying each other's company and getting to shoot some really cool content on these really cool filters. So yeah, if you guys are looking to spice up your shots, I definitely recommend you guys check out Polar Pro's effects filters. They are really cool and add a little extra to your shots.